Modding your weapons is one of the most important side grinds in Last Day on Earth. You can turn a mediocre weapon into a really well performing one, and it's also one of the most fun ways to progress inside of the game. Now there are tons of mods inside of Last Day on Earth, and in this video I'm going to be narrowing it down to the top 5. Now the criteria for these top 5 is performance based on budget and also a fun factor, so it's kind of a personalized list for me. So let's kick things off with number 1, and we've got the M16. Now the M16 is hands down the best budget gun that you can put your time into modding in Last Down Earth. If you've watched my full video guide on the M16, you'll know that most of the mods are common mods, which means that you only need to open up green crates at Blackport PD for them. Now, in my M16 standalone video, I mentioned how good it was for Floor 2 of Bunker Bravo, but the truth is that the M16 is actually very capable of clearing Floor 3 and Floor 4 as well. This is a great option for someone not looking to break the bank or spend ages grinding out to get weapon mods for an AK, a SCAR, or the like. Now, obviously, you are going to see a big difference in performance with a fully modded AK, but the amount of time you have to invest in getting this weapon to that place is just not even comparable to the M16 option. Now here's the mods that I've recommended for the M16. As you can see, most of them are common mods with the last one being the only purple mod in the mix. As I said before, just open up those green crates at PD and you'll have them without too much of a hustle. And here we go with number two, a melee weapon, the cleaver. The cleaver is personally my favorite melee weapon to use when it's modded. It is just insanely fun and it actually melts through enemies. The speed on this thing when you have it fully modded is just insane and it just becomes one of the most enjoyable weapons to use. As you can see here, even when you start to get a pile up of lower level zombies, you can still rip through them with a fully modded cleaver. And the thing is, the cleaver is a very available weapon, costing only 5 iron bars, 5 leather, and 4 planks. It is very accessible to all players. And so if you put the time into modding it, it is well worth your time. And both of those mods can be found in the farm chest, and they're both blue mods as well. So, also not too much of a hassle. On to number 3. And in number 3 I have the Glock. The Glock, much for the same reasons as the M16. M16s and Glocks are found very regularly inside of the game, and you'll have no trouble getting your money's worth if you spend the time modding them. One of the main draws for modding a Glock is its leg shot active skill. This is going to be very helpful if you're doing Bunker Alpha hard mode on the regular. As you can see here, it slows down that frenzy giant and allows me to take him out without too much difficulty. Now the cool thing is that as you level up your specialist reputation, you will actually get the best in slot Glock magazine as a reward, guaranteed. Now the other best mods for the Glock are going to be a good bit more difficult to get and you're going to need quite a few purple crates at PD, but whatever mods you equip on this weapon, you are going to get your money out of them because it's so available. In at number 4 we have the Sawblade Mace, one of my personal favorites, and it's my personal favorite for one reason, it's sneak attacks. The Sawblade Mace is the sneak attack king in Last Down Earth, especially if you get that active skill mod, as it allows you to do multiple hits here. It's so much fun just being able to one hit these large zombies inside of the game, and there's no other weapon like the Sawblade Mace, and that has its potential. And while I've got these best mods for the Sawblade Mace up, please remember to drop a like and consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell if you're into the style of this video. There is more Last Down Earth on the way. And rounding out the list at number 5 we have the shotgun. And we're going to be focusing on really one specific mod for the shotgun, it's heavy barrel mod, which gives us the active skill spread shot. Spread shot is great for Blackport PD for taking out the waves, or it's even great for gathering up a ton of zombies in resource zones and being able to dole out a ton of damage to them. It is honestly probably the best mod inside of Last Down Earth, and if you couple it with any of the other best mods for the shotgun, those mods are going to apply the damage and crits to spread shots damage, and it just makes it an amazing weapon for dealing with crowds. So that'll do it for my top 5 weapons to mod inside of Last Down Earth. I think good cases can be made for a bunch of other weapons inside of the game because there are quite a few other options that are well worth modding, but those are the top 5 that I chose to focus on based on what I felt was a good balance of budget and also some of my personal favorites as well. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'd also like to drop a shout out for the Discord server. I dropped a feedback question about this video to those guys, and they were really great at giving me some really good uh, options and some information. So I really appreciate that, and consider joining the Discord server if you'd like to talk more about Last Down Earth with me and some of the other subscribers on this channel.
And all of my weapon mod videos and the mod infographics that go along with them can be found inside of the LDOE log playlist, along with all sorts of other informational Last Day on Earth videos. Thanks again for watching, and have yourself a great day.